More than a century ago, people got around by horse and buggy until Henry Ford developed the Model T and revolutionized transportation forever. His car was affordable for everyone and apparently so well built that one that is 106 years old pulled up outside KDKA TV studios to help get the word out about a Model T tour and car show coming to Butler County. Rick Dayton stepped outside to find out where you can see these unique gems for yourself. If you love old cars, in particular one model of car, this is your weekend. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's going on with the Model T as we bring in a couple of people who know an awful lot about them. First of all, we're going to bring in Jack Cohen. He is from Butler County and Convention of Visitor Bureau and Tourism. And also we're going to bring in Simon Newbart. And he is the owner of a Model T. You've got great old cars coming to Butler County this we week. We do. We're very fortunate to have them come and visit with us. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the show and when it's going to be starting on Sunday and going for how long? It'll be there. They'll be in for a week. And over 200 Model T Fords will be in to visit and share the roads and get to see them all. Absolutely. Well, Simon, I'm going to ask you to step over in front here and tell us a little bit about the uh, vehicle that you've got here for us today. Tell us about what this thing is. 1913 Model T. You're the fourth owner in the history of this car? Yes, that is correct. This is actually a Pittsburgh native car. It's been here its entire life. Um, I was fortunate to meet not only the second and the third owner, but I ended up purchasing this a year and a half ago in Butler County and has lived in the Pittsburgh region its entire life. So. Jack, excuse me. We're going to take a closer look at this here real quick. Simon, show us a little bit around what it is that you You've got, I mean, even from the workings of the headlamps, there was no electric on this particular no. one. This car is entirely run, is self sufficient, it makes its own electricity uh, through a magneto system in the transmission. But all of the lamps, as you see, are actually will burn off of either acetylene or regular old lamp fluid. So, so then, nothing I'll, about this car is electrified, including the starter. So, literally, starter. to start this would show us what you'd have to do. Right How there. would you go about starting it? Well, there's not much to do. You just flip the switch over to battery and you just give a little tug on the crank and it'll fire right up. And it starts first crank? First or second crank, most of the time. Now, tell us a little bit about We're going to climb under the hood here. Yeah. And it's not a very big hood. It's, it's not pretty a very big hood, no, and it's made of aluminum, so you can lift it up with a pinky. Right, so so how? So how work? Couple of turns, literally it's up. And it, that's it. That's it. And you can work on the motor. And you had to back in the day, or or else you might be stranded somewhere. Right. So So this literally is not more than a four-cylinder engine, right? That is it. It's 180 cubic inches. It's a very small four-cylinder, practically a tractor motor for the time, mm -hmm. but it's it's a nice amount of horsepower, nice amount of torque, and this car actually would surprise you driving around in the hills of Western PA. So. It's amazing that the tires you look, it almost looks like a glorified bicycle and tire. All it is. Just a big fat tire That's there. That's all it is. It's nothing nothing fancier than that, and it uh and it's a little scary sometimes when you're cruising down the road. But you know, 106 years old, it's a miracle it's still running. So it's really fun to enjoy a part of history and drive it and get to experience it. And I do want you to take one look inside here, Tim, because you know the thing is the steering wheel itself, obviously a little well worn at this point, made of wood. Made of wood, that is correct. And literally not more than you've got a gas pedal, you've got a clutch and a brake, and a gear shift up front, and an emergency brake on the side, and that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Actually, there is no throttle. The throttle's right up here. Oh, it's on the handle. It's on the handle. It's yeah. pretty, pretty different than anything you're ever gonna, ever gonna drive and experience today. Well, if you want to see Model T's, the place to be is in Butler County this weekend. As a matter of fact, starting on the 15th, running through the 20th of July, the Model T show is gonna be here. So glad to have Simon, Jack. Thank you very much for being here. We appreciate it. And uh, get out there and see them. Great old cars. One of 200 that's gonna be there right here on Pittsburgh Today Live.